In a previous video that you can find in the links below, we did a very interesting attachment that was using a flywheel to solve a competition model. Now there's much physics involved in the flywheel and we got a number of questions from you. So we decided to dig deeper into the subject. For the last couple of years we've stayed away from the physics, but actually the Lego Mindstorms robot are, are very, a very interesting tool uh, with which we can explore different, uh, different laws of physics and we can talk about motion, about energy and in this series the next couple of videos we'll try to to explore flywheels to explore accumulation of energy to to explore inertial momentum and we'll get into more physics and i think it will be quite fun quite interesting and you'll learn a lot now my plan for the series is to use uh, a model that we built especially for this purpose and we'll do a number of videos first we'll try to to build a block that will accelerate this whole uh, whole module and would we'll accumulate some energy in this module then we'll calculate what exactly the energy is and then we'll think about how can we use this energy to do other other things for example if we have the attachment it's not actually attachment it's a it's a whole module when we rotate the tire with my right hand we can see that both of the, the three tires inside they start rotating we accumulate some energy in them and we can do something with this energy at a later stage for example we can rotate you can see this same lows in in many cars for example in in formula one you can see them in flywheels uh, and we'll try to to do a number of calculations about the inertia momentum what momentum is what energy is how it is accumulated and how can we use it first i'll start with something very simple as you can see if we now rotate the wheel here we will take the three wheels on the inside. There is a, a gear gear system right here inside. You can find the instructions for building this uh, this construction below the video. And now, if I rotate the gear wheel, we rotate the three gear wheels here. Some of the energy is accumulated. If I rotate it very slowly, like this, I'll have enough energy for something like I don't know. 50 60 degrees of turning but if i rotate it very fast like this i will have more energy accumulated and we can turn for a longer distance so it's like i don't know 200 degrees now the question is if we have a motor an ev3 motor from the lego maestro's ev3 set how fast can we actually rotate the three wheels on the inside that's the question so we must first find what's the speed of rotation of this of this motor on its maximum power and what's the speed of rotation that we can actually use to rotate the three wheels this here is the ev3 software it's a teacher's edition so uh, it is possible for me to add program and experiments this is uh, an important distinction the distinction because with an experiment i could actually find the speed of rotation of the motor i assume that some of you will have the the retail version not the teacher edition so i'll have to implement a program a program that without the experiment option right here a program that will give us the speed of rotation of the ev3 motor the maximum speed of rotation the question is the following if we have a large motor and we set this large motor to rotate for let's say 10 rotations to a hundred percent power then what will be the speed of rotation of this motor 
and by speed I mean what's the number of rotation that this motor does for one second. I have now connected motor D to our robot and we'll configure it to rotate for seconds, let's say 10 seconds. We are rotating motor D for 10 seconds and we are searching for the speed of the motor. How many rotation, rotations is the motor making for one second? And I'll now start the program. We can hear that the motor is running for about 10 seconds, for exactly 10 seconds. And then when we finish, we can see the result in the lower right corner. I'll just zoom it. We see that we've done 8400 degrees. That's the number of degrees that we've rotated for 10 seconds. Or we can also switch this to rotations and again I'll zoom it. It's 23.5 rotations for 10 seconds. Which means that for each second we are doing 2.35 rotation. That's the speed of the motor. Let's now try to show this speed on the on the brick display. I would like to show the speed of the motor on the brick screen because it would be much easier for me to to show the experiments. So um, how do we display the speed of the motor? First the speed is, is actually the number of rotations that we are doing for one second. So we must measure the, the number of rotations. And we will take one sensor from here, the, the motor rotation sensor for port D and we will reset this. Then we rotate, we rotate the motor on with the power of 100 and we rotate this motor constantly. We wait for one second and after this second has passed, we measure how much has the motor rotated. We measure the, let's measure the number of degrees. We measure the number of degrees this motor has rotated for one second. Again, we reset. We start rotating, we wait for a second, we measure how much has the motor rotated. And after we do this, we must show this on the screen. Let's show this on the screen. We have a display. And for this display we can show some text. And this text will be a wire text. This will only show, so we rotate, we start, we start rotating, we wait for a second, we show the number of degrees that we've rotated for one second. But that's not what we want to show on the display, we want to show the speed, the speed. So for the speed, the speed is actually degrees per second or rotations per second, so it's something per second. Let's do the following way. We need a loop. And we'll put this whole functionality in a loop. Come on. Like this. I'll just zoom out a little. Mm, minus, yes. We have the the program now let's try and run this program and we'll see the number of degrees that we're rotating for one second this here is the brick this here is the motor i'll now start the program and we'll see the values on the display. I'll start. As you can see, the motor is currently rotating with about 
870 degrees per second. That's the speed of rotation of our motor. And this would continue forever because that's why that's how we set up this this loop. Now let's connect this motor to our construction. I add this motor right here so that it will rotate the wheels on the inside like this. And now the question is what will be the speed of rotation of this motor when we attach it to this whole construction. I will now start the program, just find it, I will hold the whole construction together, I start the program. And as you can see the speed of rotation does not actually reach the maximum speed of rotation. The question is and what we're going to explore in the next video because this was this is now getting pretty long how much energy in term of in terms of energy in joules have we accumulated here in this mechanism and how can we use this energy?